Good morning. Welcome to your Wednesday devotion. I'm Pastor Jay, and I'm here in the library at Christ the King. And that's because we're continuing on with one of the books in the library that we call the Bible. Remember, it's not one book. It's 66 books. And we're going to continue on with that. And uh, our second miracle today has to do with the healing of Simon Peter's mother and also with Jesus' care for the whole community. So let's listen to this. Uh, in verse 29 of chapter 1 of the Gospel of Mark. As soon as they left the synagogue, they entered the house of Simon and Andrew with James and John. Now Simon's mother-in-law, remember this is later called, he's later called Peter. Simon's mother-in-law was in bed with a fever, and they told him about her at once. Notice there's that at once immediately that you get a lot in Mark. He came and took her by the hand and lifted her up. Then the fever left her, and she began to serve them. You notice that it's not only just like Jesus laying hands on her. He's lifting her up. And if you think about it, that's what healing really is. Whatever kind of healing you need, it's being lifted up, lifted back into life. Um, I had a friend of mine who was a recovering alcoholic, and he said that when he was able to get clean and sober, that he felt like a veil had been lifted off of his eyes, and he saw the world clearly again. And then it goes on. It says, that evening at sundown, they brought to him, in other words, to Jesus, all who were sick and possessed with demons. And the whole city was gathered around the door. Now think about that. This is a time before urgent care centers. This is a time before hospitals or modern medicine. When somebody can heal you, that's going to be a very popular individual. And verse 34, And he cured many who were sick with various diseases and cast out many demons. He would not permit the demons to speak because they knew him. Remember that from last time? It's called the Messianic Secret. Jesus wants to be somewhat incognito doing these good works until the time is right, and then he will reveal who he is. But here he's telling the demons, be quiet, because they know who he is. And remember, he's, he's healing everyone. He's not being selective and saying, well, you know, if you're a certain person or you're good enough or whatever, it's to my benefit. No, he's healing everyone who comes to him. And so that's just really a truly wonderful thing about our God, the love of our God, and about the Lord also reminds us that all people are precious in God's in God's sight. But my main takeaway from today is that when Jesus heals you, he lifts you up. He lifts you up. It's not just, you know, a cessation of your, of your symptoms. It's getting back into life, um, getting back into what God means for you to be. So let's have a prayer. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks for the compassion, uh, your compassion th- shown through your son, Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord, that when we're healed, we're lifted up to get back into life. And we thank you, Heavenly Father, that Jesus was so liberal with his healing. He healed everybody. And we appreciate that, Lord. We appreciate his love for us and for the whole world. We ask all these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Well, God bless you. I hope your week's going well. Have a great Wednesday.